Are you ready for your mind to be blown? Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Quick tip. Now, quick tip videos are made to focus in like a laser beam on that one thing that you've been trying to learn in a program. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Even learning a few shortcuts will save you so much time and make you look so much more professional. Just click the link below. Here's a top designer tip in Illustrator that I couldn't live without. The eyedropper tool allows you to steal colors and styles from one element and apply it to another element. So in this way, you'll be sure that your colors and styles are coordinated throughout your entire layout. Here's how it works. First, you select the object that you'd like to change. In this case, I'll go ahead and select my seal. Next, you choose the eyedropper tool from the toolbar and then you click on the object that you'd like to steal. Voila, now the seal is blue. Did you see what happened to my cursor when I chose the eyedropper tool? It became an eyedropper. And then check this out. When you click down, then it looks like the eyedropper is sucking up the color into it. The eyedropper tool not only works with solid colors, but also gradients and patterns. Pretty cool, right? But wait, there's more. You can also take the color from photos that you've imported into your Illustrator file. This is one quick way to really ensure that your graphical elements coordinate with the photos that you've imported so that your layout is completely consistent. But as if that wasn't enough, it also works on text. Here, if I have my copy selected and I use my eyedropper tool, I can make it blue by just dropping out the color here. So this way I'm sure that my copy is the same color as my graphical element. But I've saved the best for last. Are you ready for your mind to be blown? Here it is. You can select copy and then with the eyedropper tool, you can select other copy and apply its entire style. Did you see how the cursor changed to a little tiny T now above the eyedropper? It took the font, the font size, and the color. All of the attributes that had been applied to this copy has now been applied to my copy below. That's pretty incredible. The eyedropper tool is your designer friend. I couldn't design without the eyedropper tool and I highly recommend it for you as well. And one last thing, if you do use the eyedropper to take a gradient, be aware that you might need to go into the gradient tool to modify the orientation or direction of the gradient. Here the gradient had a 45 degree angle, so at zero degree, the gradient technically wasn't identical, so you might need to modify it. Similarly, if you have copy that you've changed the case on, when you use the eyedropper to select out that text, it will take the font, the letting, the point size, and the color, but it may not take the capitalization. So you might need to select it and just change it there. Your graphic scroll is always looking out for you, just trying to anticipate any questions you might have. But if you have any others, please feel free to leave a comment below. You can do this, okay? So if you found this video helpful, give it a like, Woo! share it with your friends, hey! and please subscribe to my channel. Okay. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.